motion can be observed everywhere just take a look around yourself you can see people walking vehicles moving on the roads birds flying in the sky etc before we talk about definition on motion and rest let's try to imagine yourself sitting in a seat while traveling in a moving car we observe no change in position with respect to the window there is a change of scene when we view through the window the change of scene indicates that the car is moving and that the car is in motion an object is said to be in motion if it changes its position with respect to its surroundings in a given time now the window in the car cabin is at rest that is its position with respect to the walls of the cabin does not change its position with respect to its surroundings motion is always observed and measured with a point of reference all living things show motion whereas the non living things show motion only when some force is acting on it motion can be of many types the motion in which all points of a moving body move uniformly in the same line or direction is called translatory motion example a moving car a moving ball a falling apple etc translatory motion is again of two types if a body moves in a straight line it is said to have rectilinear motion example a car moving on a straight road soldiers marching etc and if a body moves along a curved path it is said to have curvilinear motion example a car taking a turn on a curved road motion of a pencil drawing a circle etc an object is said to be in circular motion when it moves around a fixed point called axis example a spinning top and a merry go round when a body as a whole moves in a circular path its motion is called revolution and the body is said to revolve example our own earth it revolves around the sun and when a body undergoes translatory motion in such a way that its paths cover different distances in a given time it is said to have rotatory motion example the earth's rotation around its axis the blades of a windmill a dancer taking a twirl irregular motion of a body in which the direction of motion is not fixed is called random motion example a flying butterfly and the players in a field when a body moves to and fro about a fixed point it is said to be in oscillatory motion for example the motion of a pendulum and a swing sometimes the whole object does not show to and fro motion but a part of it shows this motion such a motion is termed as vibratory motion this motion is actually a very fast to and fro motion example the strings of a guitar when plucked all musical instruments show vibratory motion during this motion a change in shape and size takes place when the same motion repeats itself after equal intervals of time we call it periodic motion example the motion of hands of a clock and the revolution of the earth around the sun in many objects more than one type of motion is observed for example let's take this drawing water from well the pulley on which the rope runs has a circular motion and the bucket has a linear motion the needle of a sewing machine oscillates and its wheel rotates in a circular motion motion of the earth in this the earth revolves around the sun thus showing circular motion it rotates around its axis showing rotatory motion both the above motions are repeated after a fixed interval of time so it shows periodic motion too when a person rides a bicycle the cycle and the cyclist show translatory motion but the wheels show rotatory motion 
and when a screw is screwed into a box then it shows both rectilinear and rotatory motion thank you children now it's time for you to get into motion